It's Saturday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As the dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 68 Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those that hate him flee before him. As the smoke vanishes, so may they vanish away. As wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them make merry with gladness. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides on the clouds. The Lord is his name, rejoice before him. Father of the fatherless, defender of widows, God in his holy habitation. God gives a solitary home and brings forth prisoners to songs of welcome, but the rebellious inhabit a burning desert. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens dropped down rain at the presence of God, the Lord of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent down a gracious rain, O oh God. You refreshed your inheritance when it was weary. Your people came to dwell there, in your goodness, O God, you provide for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings and their armies, they flee, they flee, and women at home are dividing the spoil. Though you stayed among the sheepfolds, see now a dove's wings covered with silver and its feathers with green gold. When the Almighty scattered the kings, it was like snowflakes falling on Zalmon. You mighty mountain, great mountain of Bashan, you towering mountain, great mountain of Bashan. Why look with envy, you towering mountains, at the mount which God has desired for his dwelling, the place where the Lord will dwell forever? The chariots of God are twice ten thousand, even thousands upon thousands. The Lord is among them, the Lord of Sinai in holy power. You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received tribute, even from those who rebelled, that you may reign as Lord and God. Blessed be the Lord who bears our burdens day by day, for God is our salvation. God is for us, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord who can deliver from death. God will smite the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of those who walk in wickedness. The Lord has said, from the heights of Bashan, from the depths of the sea will I bring them back. Till you dip your foot in blood and the tongue of your dogs has a taste of your enemies. We see your solemn processions, O God, your processions into the sanctuary, my God and my King. The singers go before, the musicians follow after in the midst of maidens playing on trim timbrels. In your companies, bless your God, bless the Lord, you that are of the fount of Israel. At the head there is Benjamin, least of the tribes, the princes of Judah in joyful company, the princes of Zebulun and Naphtali. Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought in us. For your temple's sake in Jerusalem, kings shall bring their gifts to you. Drive back with your word the wild beasts of the reeds, the herd of the bull-like and brutish hordes. Trample down those who lust after silver, 
scatter the peoples that delight in war. Vessels of bronze shall be brought from Egypt. Ethiopia will stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Make music in praise of the Lord. He rides on the ancient heaven of heavens and sends forth his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe power to God, whose splendour is over Israel, whose power is above the clouds. How terrible is God in his holy sanctuary, the God of Israel, who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Jerusalem, our mother. Thus says our God, I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her. All you who love her, says the Lord. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may drink deeply with delight from her consoling breast. For thus says our God, you shall be nursed and carried on her arm. As a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. You shall flourish like the grass of the field. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Thus says our God, I will comfort you. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice. We're reading from Romans chapter 11, starting at verse 13. Now I am speaking to you Gentiles, in so, much them as, in so much then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles. I glorify my ministry in order to make my own people jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And if the root is holy, then the branches are also holy. But if some of the branches were broken off and you, a wild olive shoot, were grafted in their place to share the rich root of the olive tree, do not vaunt yourself over the branches. For if you do vaunt yourselves, remember that it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, Branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. But you stand only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, perhaps he will not spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God. Severity towards those who have fallen. But God's kindness towards you provided you continue in his kindness otherwise you also will be cut off and even those of Israel if they do not persist in unbelief will be grafted in for God has the power to graft them in again for if you have been cut from what is by nature a wild olive tree and grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree how much more will those natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree here ends the reading. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. 
The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. So let us pray. Almighty God, we pray this morning for our family, for our friends, for our neighbours and our work colleagues. Father, we pray for all those we live with. We pray for those that we care for and for those who care for us. And Lord, we pray for those whom we love and yet are separated from. Mighty God, we pray for our homes that they may be places of love, laughter and sanctuary. We pray that you would protect the places where we dwell. Father, we pray for our local church congregations. Lord, we pray for fellowship within our church community. And Lord Jesus, we pray that our churches will become beacons of hope in the midst of their communities, that you would draw people to us and that we would glorify your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.